as you can see from this video this is Kenile's lawyer going live going live guys on tiktok like what kind of gen z lawyer are you that moments after your your client filed a case with you you had to come on live on tiktok on, of all the things to go live on it's on tiktok and then what do you do you start blabbing about the case you start blabbing giving out information giving out key information about the whole case like what are you planning on doing are you actually being a lawyer for your client or are you selling out to your client because i don't know now Gnile has filed a lawsuit against mr grootman and uh, the lawyer in question is now out here revealing everything about the case what i don't understand is why is the client's lawyer the client is question Ginil. why is her lawyer coming online on tiktok to give out good the, to give out details of an active lawsuit like i don't understand why are you telling it to the public one of the person that might be listening to this video that might be watching this video might be grootman's lawyer and you are giving out evidence details of how the lawsuit is going to go it's like mr grootman had everything in my thought after all because what is he going to do he's counter swing and this reminds me of the thing that we used to say back home in nigeria Obloyables of all police in a win case. It's not the first person that calls the police that actually wins the case. I have to say, that is the worst Gen Z thing that a lawyer could have done. And see how she is here talking as if she is doing Guinea a favor by taking her case pro bono, telling her not to pay any cent that she's going to take the case pro bono. And then you're coming out on social media to tell us details about the case. So, yes. Guinea did the best thing by fighting this through the root of the law. But now her lawyer has messed everything up for her. I have to say, this is the worst mess up of all things. I think this video by the lawyer is worse than the sex tape that was leaked. But uh, don't take my word for it. Let me know down below in the comment section what are your thoughts about it. And also, don't forget, subscribe if this is your first time coming across my channel. Give this video a like, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. I'm sure that when I saw the videos of Tkinile, she knows I told Ogusi I've always been one of the people that are always saying, this girl is the biggest papaya that I've ever met in my life. You truly are, by the way, Tkinile. But, in, I mean, just, I mean, like, you know. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I could have easily asked for 50,000 rand and said, give me this money and I'm going to sort this thing out for you. But I didn't ask for a cent. I didn't ask for a single cent. Like, all I wanted to do was help. So he will go to jail. I am betting money on it. I'm willing to give anybody money to bet on the fact that he will go to jail. Already as we speak right now, my seniors, I'm a SC. Your famous lawyers that you see on TV have already called me to tell me, Kuti, you can already bring an application for contempt of court. So it's already done. Like, it's shy. Let me say, I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not his friend. Uh, he must threaten his friends. He can threaten Kanila that he slept with, that he was dating, but he's not going to do that to me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm Yo, nami ya tanya njenga njenga kwa dewe na mlemo ya tanya kwa. Kana basa said loyalu na mara is this even allowed?